Hey everyone, my name's Nick, and I'm going to teach you how to get up and running with the Aurelia JS front end framework. I'm a huge fan of this framework, having come from the PHP world. I love that I'm now writing modern JavaScript. I can implement two way binding, meaning my view and my JavaScript are always in agreement. The framework is really, really neat in that it has the ability to get out of the way and really lets you just write JavaScript. So half the time you're using this framework, you're not thinking about some sort of idiosyncratic implementation of JavaScript, but rather you're just writing pure JavaScript. So all that being said, let's dive in. Go ahead and open up your command line. And first we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have node installed. You can do this by typing node-v. If you see a version number come up, I have version 8.9.3, then you are in good shape. If you do not see a version come up, you're going to need to go online and navigate to nodejs.org. And you'll see some download options based on the operating system you're running. Go ahead and get that installed. For the rest of us, let's go to our command line and using Node Package Manager, we are going to install the Aurelia command line interface. We'll do that by typing npm install, or just npm i, Aurelia dash CLI, and let's do it globally. So we'll do dash G. And while that's happening, I can tell you that the Aurelia CLI is really helpful. Uh, initially, we'll use it mostly just to get our projects up and running. But in the end state, we'll use it for other things such as building our application. So now that that's installed, let's go ahead and just type AU. And we can see the Aurelia CLI gives us a few options here. Uh, the first one we're going to use, which is new project name, and then you have an optional here flag. So we can type AU new and our new project is going to be called Hello World. And if we wanted to, we could drop in a here flag, but we don't necessarily want to do that. I actually just want to create a subfolder, so I'm not going to do it in my current folder. So we'll get a few options here. Uh, I use default ESNext. Some people use TypeScript, and that's OK. But at least in the near term, these tutorials will be using ESNext. I'll accept that. And then, yes, I will say I would like to create the project. And I will install the project dependencies. And off we go. So this will probably take a little bit of time. And I will, uh, I'll cut out the video and cut back in once everything is done installing. OK, awesome. Everything's installed. So now I'm going to change into my Hello World directory. And now that I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and fire up my text editor. Great. So now that I've opened my project in Sublime, we can go ahead and see that on the left side here, there's quite a few folders and different files. And this may be intimidating if you haven't worked too much with frameworks. But I can assure you not to worry. You don't have to know what every single thing here does from the beginning. In fact, we're going to look at very little of it and start peeling back layers of this onion as we go. What you will notice if you're familiar with web apps is that at this main level, we have an index.html file. If we open that, what we see is, well, pretty much just a basic HTML file. What you'll notice, though, is that on line 10 here, we have this script that has a source in the vendor bundle and then has a data dash main equals Aurelia bootstrapper. We also have on line nine within the body tag, we have Aurelia dash app equals main. And what's really important here is that the script is basically calling the bootstrapper for Aurelia. So that's going to bootstrap the application. And then wherever you put this Aurelia dash app equals main tag, what's going to happen is the application is going to bootstrap inside of 
that element. What that actually means is that if you go ahead and open up your source directory that's at the top level of your application, by default, the Aurelia application will inject the app component here. What the app component is, is the combination of the app.js view model and the app.html view. So I know I'm throwing out a lot of terminology, which some of you may be familiar with, but some of you may not, and that's totally cool. All you should really know, at least at this point, is that within this index.html file at the, at the root level of your application, your Aurelia app is being bootstrapped wherever this Aurelia app main attribute is. And what's loading by default, which of course you can change if you'd like, is the app component located within the source directory. So the important thing about these components is that you'll always have this app.js or just basically a JavaScript view model and an HTML view. And basically how it works is this view model is going to be a class and properties of this class will be associated with items within the view. And basically the relationship between the view model and the view is going to be really key. And so right now you can see when you just create this default app, you already have in your view model, this dot message equal to hello world and in your view, what you have is this template literal, which is just a fancy name for outputting something in your view that comes from the view model. So if you set this dot message equal to hello world in your view model, then in your view, you can output that by simply using this template literal, so dollar sign and then the braces and then message inside. And as you might imagine, within this H1 element, you're going to actually have hello world binding in there. So we can explore this now by going back to our console. And let me clear that out. And we can go ahead and type au run. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to build our application so that we can check it out locally without having to actually do a full build and minify the source. So we'll go ahead and do that. And what we'll see is by default here, the application is available at localhost on port 9000. So we can copy that we can open up a new browser and go directly there. And hey, there you go. It says hello world, just like we might have expected it to do based on this view model binding this dot message to the view. So if we played around a little bit, we could change hello world to hello Nick. We'll save it and if we give it a refresh here, well, it still says hello world because we actually haven't rebuilt this since we did that change. So we're gonna have to run again. And once it's finished, we can go back to the browser, give it a refresh. Ah, and there we go, hello Nick. So I think this is a good place to stop for now. We have explored installing the Aurelia command line interface. We went ahead and created a hello world application. We explored the file structure just a little bit to understand what was going on. And then we started modifying some of the code so that we made it a little bit more of a personal greeting than hello world. I hope you enjoyed this introduction. There will certainly be more to come. Uh, please do subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will talk to you later.